because there are people that are disgusted with what they're seeing in the prosecution of a political opponent. You in a classic pot calling the kettle now, black, you know, an it appears to, some people it, it, are disgusted by the investigative right power of Florida's chief allow, financial officer, question, Jimmy Petronas. Yep. That's why a leading watchdog organization is calling for the governor to launch an independent investigation of Petronas. It all stems from the arrest of five office workers at a Hialeah dental practice on allegations of Medicaid fraud. Although there have been arrests made, there's been no prosecutor's office that has found probable cause sufficient to file criminal charges. Sam Rabin is the attorney for one of the arrested workers. There were a lot of irregularities in this investigation. I think if you look at them uh, taken together, you will see that this is an unjust investigation, an unjust arrest. Um, and there has to be some invisible hand, if you will, that was guiding this investigation. And some are saying that Petronas, who wants to run for governor in 2026, is that invisible hand. That's because Medicaid says there was no fraud. The patients did receive the treatment that Medicaid was billed for. Nobody lost any money, and there are no apparent victims, except for the five office workers whose lives were turned upside down after their arrests following the investigation by Petronas's office. You would think we're in a third world country and we're taken out you know, an opponent to an unseated dictator. Well, you know what? That's kind of what's taking place right now. We simply cannot allow this type of weaponization of our Justice Department, our court system, and deep blue parts of our country to take out a political opponent because we've got the ability to influence outcomes there. Although Petronas is talking about the prosecution of Donald Trump, critics say that is exactly what the CFO is doing. The investigation started after the former owner of the dental clinic, Dr. Jose Mayado, filed a civil suit against the current owners, who paid him almost $25 million to purchase the practice. After filing the civil suit, Mayado made a $2,000 campaign contribution to Petronas, and a friend and business associate, Barbara Feingold, followed with a $50,000 contribution to the CFO. The timing of the investigation related to those contributions and the need for the investigation to assist um, his allies in the civil case make it highly likely that the contributions contributed to and were a reason for the investigation. After the Miami-Dade State Attorney's Office refused to prosecute, saying, we know this isn't a good case, and it says it couldn't convince a jury a crime had committed, and then the statewide prosecutor refused to take the case, Petronas continued to shop it to other prosecutors around the state who, to date, have refused to file charges. That's why the watchdog group Integrity Florida says an outside agency is needed to probe the CFO's investigation that led to the arrests. It's a, it's a sad state of affairs, but we got to push back. Again, Petronas is talking about the prosecution of Donald Trump, but the pushback is coming toward Petronas, who's been the target of several ethics complaints since being in office. Meantime, Petronas defends the investigation, saying he was required to investigate the dental practice because he received a report of fraud. However, Petronas neglects to mention the fraud report comes from the former owner of the clinic, Mayado, who is a Petronas contributor and stands to make millions more if he wins the civil suit. Good government watchdogs say that's not the way elected officials are supposed to operate in the Sunshine State. Much more to come. This is Mike Deason reporting.